Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Mike Shinoda. I'm probably best known as the vocalist and um, songwriter producer for the band Lincoln Park. And uh, Fort Minor was a side project I did as well. Um, and um, I wanted to talk today about uh, criticism. Um, I think criticism... Uh, for me, I've always, I think I'm generally pretty good at dealing with criticism. Um, maybe that comes from having parents who, uh, themselves were generally pretty good about dealing with criticism. My mom is, um, she was a court reporter. Um, she actually was born and raised in, a medium large family in West Virginia. My dad was a uh, second generation, first generation born in the US, Japanese, and was interned during World War II and also had a very big family. And from that, I think there's just like, like a lot of voices and a lot of stuff that you grow up, you know, around. And you don't have, there's always like, um, maybe not arguments, but like differing opinions always, you know, happening. And, and I went to school um, here in California. I, I went, I'd always thought I was going to be an artist. Uh, I'd always wanted to be, to be an, a designer or illustrator. And music was just something my mom made me do so that I could get into a good college. Um, I did 10 to 12 years of piano. Uh, but I always took, I did art in school. Every, every, chance, I had, every chance I had to take an elective, I'd take art. Um, when I got into art center, I was in, I was at the time they were only letting like 10 to 15 people in from high school each semester. So I was really lucky to get in. It was, there were not many people my age. Everybody was older and more experienced. They knew what they were talking about and, um, a lot of pressure and a lot of work. Um, and you would take, take your art and you'd put it up on the, on the rail for the rest of your classmates to basically tell you. You know, you'd spent 40 hours on the thing and they'd, you'd put them all up there and everybody would tell each other why their thing is broken or terrible. Um, and I, t I, I really took, I feel like I always, I took that, um, the ability to sort through cri criticism and to, to I, there's, certain, there's a certain amount of like, I didn't know what to call it at the time, but emotional intelligence to the uh, reception of, ideas that are different from yours. Um, either, hey, I don't agree with you, or hey, I think you missed something. Um, so those are two different things. And, and in my band, once the band took off, we were just, it was a hobby at one point, and the next thing we knew, we were headlining festivals all over the world. And everything was on the line. Like, it was always a... Um, it was, it was always, there were always conversations and arguments and differing opinions, uh, whether we were in the studio trying to write the best song we could, or this, you know, we want to put a set list together. I think these songs should be on it, or I don't think those songs should be on it. Um, and so dealing with criticism and dealing with opinions and, and people's emotions is, has always been something that I take seriously. And I think that it's something that is very timely too, right now, you know, people are, um, it, whether, you know, in, in the news cycle and, and in general, and in, in like for years now, I've, I've felt like it's, there's a certain, um, you know, social media, some social media and some online, uh, uh, communities really set themselves up to maximize drama and maximize disagreement and clashes. So learning how to take a deep breath and say, you know what, we disagree and I'm going to listen and you're going to listen. And, and we have to, first of all, take the tone down. And then second, um, realize that sometimes we're not going to agree and that's, we're not coming from the same place and that's okay. In, in, at Art Center, we learned that Sometimes, you know, when you're told, I, I would put it this way, like whenever I was told at school or in, in my career, when somebody said, well, you can either have this or you can have that. You can't have both. 
I would always perk up because I would always think, ah, oh, that's like a really good design opportunity. Um, somebody said, like the classic one is, oh, you're making music. You can't be artistically, um, you can't have artistic integrity and also be commercially successful. But why not? Why not? I think some of the best things out there are things that do both. Um, and that's, so I've always looked at it like, yeah, I want to have my cake and eat it too. I want to be able to, to take two things that they say I can't have um, at the same time and have them both. It's all about making design decisions. Right now, the way that plays into like what I'm doing right now, um, on June 26th, I'm releasing an album of instrumental tracks that are, you know, it's a smaller release. It's super fun. Um, and I made all the songs and all the art live on Twitch online. And the way that works, one of the ways that works is I show up every weekday at 10 a.m. And in a couple of hours, I'm, I, I make something from scratch. I show up with nothing and I make something from scratch. And um, there are various ways I get the fan base to anybody who's there can participate and suggest things and tell me things that are great and tell me things that are stupid. And, and again, that like listening to people talk and listening to criticism, I'm not going to be perfect at it every time. Um, somebody's going to be in there with a bad attitude or whatever, possibly. But generally, I find that that community, number one, developing that community over time, it tends to be very positive. And if my attitude is like, I want this to be a positive experience and I'm, I'm you know, uh, projecting that, then so far it's been a very positive thing. We have a lot of fun. It's totally unpredictable. Like sometimes I, get, I sit down and two hours later we've got garbage <laughs> and that's part of the process. That's part of the creative process. It's part of what makes it exciting. Um, it's part of what get, keeps me showing up each day for the, the stream. So anyway, if you do want to check that out, um, and we could talk more about this. That's what's nice about that type of a thing is that if you show up on twitch.tv slash official Mike Shinoda, then this thing that I'm talking about right now, you can come into the chat and we can talk more about it. Um, I can also be found on Mike Shinoda, uh, at Mike Shinoda on Facebook and Twitter. I can be found at M underscore Shinoda on Instagram and official Mike Shinoda on Twitch and um, YouTube. Um, thanks so much for watching.